Hi, and welcome back to part two of using RenderMan Rib Archives in to optimize your scene uh, file size. And uh, one thing I should bring up is another way of optimizing your scene if you're not using uh, Rib Archives is to go ahead and export all your geometry as a AMBLIC file and then importing those into your scene. However, the problem with that is, is when you bring your uh, AMBLIC archive into uh, Maya, it doesn't update the uh, shaders that goes with that file. So you'll have to reapply all of those shaders to all of your um, or all of your materials to your uh, objects. However, with uh, RenderMan and using Rib Archives uh, for RenderMan, it does this all automatically. It uses Amblic and then imports all of that, uh, uh, all of the shaders for you automatically, and just makes it entirely easier. But you can see here, I have uh, I'm in Blender right at the moment, and this is where I had created my uh, my uh, fence section. And if I look at my fence section, you can see that I'm running 4,533 faces with 4,908 vertices. <coughs> and if you remember, I have a lot of fence sections in there, so that's a lot of geometry to be putting into it. But anyways, what I did is I created this fence section, and uh, selecting it, you can see that I've done all my UV layouts and then I just exported this all out as an FBX and then imported that FBX file into uh, Maya. At that point, and I'm just going to go ahead and close this, at that point I imported all of those fence sections in. I imported in four fence sections and then I added uh, slightly different materials to the four and then duplicated all four of those uh, along this line here to create this entire fence section. And like I say, there's a lot of geometry in here. If I open up my outliner here, you can see that I have something called a fence uh, rib archive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that rib archive. And now I'm just stuck with my entire fence section. Now, if I save this out as a uh, just a Maya file, and then I could import this into Maya, but the problem is, is I would have all this geometry imported into Maya, and again, I'd be stuck with uh, just a lot of geometry. To create a rib archive, all I really have to do is I can go to this fence group here, highlight it just like this, and I go over to Render Man, and I come down to Rib Archives. I create a node and write the archive. And let me just go ahead and open up the options. I can do it from Current Frame or Time Slider. I'm going to choose the, well actually I'm going to go to Start and End. And I'm going to set this for from Frame 1 to Frame 720. Now, the one thing with this is once you do, once you set a rib archive, you need to set it for the number of frames that you're going to be producing within a particular file. Now, if this was a static file, I just do the current frame and just call it good. But uh, because this is going into, uh, even though it's a static model and I'm putting it into a, into a, um, uh, animation, I need to set the number of frames that it's going to be produced in. Now, 720 frames is about 30 seconds, and that's about the longest I'd need for any shot. So even though I may use this prop in multiple shots, I'm never going to use it for more than, than 720 frames. So all I have to do at this point is just click Create and it says I've already got this in here do you want to replace it and I'm going to just go ahead and say sure why not and it'll go through and calculate all of those rib archives 
and I'm just going to go ahead and pause this video. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to end this video, and I'll come back to the next one when this is completely done.